Our South East reporter Ali Costello has the details of this horrific case. It's worthwhile noting, of course, that Ali's report on this story are likely to be disturbing to you, the viewers. His crimes have been described as a kind no British court has ever seen before. David Fuller will be sentenced today after being convicted of murdering two women in the 1980s and for sexually abusing at least 100 female corpses in the hospitals where he worked between 2008 and 2020. David Fuller struck, strangled and sexually abused 25-year-old Wendy Nell and 20-year-old Caroline Pears after breaking into their homes in Tunbridge Wells in Kent just months apart in 1987. Fuller evaded responsibility for the killings for 33 years until he was arrested following a DNA breakthrough in December 2020. You're under arrest on suspicion of the murders of Wendy Nell and Caroline Pierce in 1987. Do you understand? Yes. Searches of Fuller's home following his arrest uncovered hard devices concealed in a hide in his home. The CPS Crown Prosecutor described David Fuller's actions as the stuff of nightmares. They are just crimes which actually defy belief, de defy your belief in how people behave. He's moved on from killing to commit offences to actually committing offences against dead people. Four days into his trial in November, Fuller admitted two counts of murder. He had previously admitted 51 further sexual offences. The government has announced an independent inquiry into the circumstances surrounding the offences committed at the hospitals. It will help us understand how these offences took place without detection in the trust, identify any areas where early action by this trust was necessary, and then consider wider national issues including for the NHS. The chief executive of the Maidstone and Tunbridge Wells NHS Trust sent an apology to the families of the victims of these terrible crimes. He said he was confident that the mortuary today is safe and secure, but was determined to see if there were any lessons to be learned or systems to be improved. Over the past 10 months, a £1.5 million care package has been created with victim support, which has drafted in 150 police family liaison officers to support the family of victims. Today, those shocked and horrified families will want to see the longest sentence possible served to David Fuller and will be seeking some understanding of how he committed his crimes undetected for so long. Ellie Costello, GB News.